Go out hunting. That's fantastic. So, we finally made it. This is actually one of our all-time favorite spots to coming to in New Mexico. This is my third time, Eddie's second time. Second time, yeah. This trip is just a little bit different, because you know, he's not holding a camera. <laughs> he's trigger guy, and guess what else? The camera's not on a tripod. The camera is being ran by this elk killer who got her first elk about two weeks ago, right? Yeah, yeah. Right here in New right. Mexico in Unit 5 with that guy and his crew, Mr. Anthony. She's gonna be running the camera for y'all that don't know because you don't get to see her face. This is Ashley, all the awesome videos that we put on our YouTube channel, she's responsible for it. She does all the editing. So we are going to go chase some elk with Anthony. We just pulled in, we unloaded the truck and he's like, where's your gun, let's go. He's not messing around. We've got like literally about an hour before dark. So we're gonna throw in something a little bit warmer, throw in some good boots. He's gonna get the gun. Yeah. The Benelli Lupo 300 wind mag. Right? Let's do it. Yeah. That's good. That's good. That's awesome. Yeah. Let's go out hunting. Yep, yep. There see, you go. See the sun there that's glowing? A bunch of some white markers over there. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five. <laughs> you sat as far as you needed to. 988. <laughs> <laughs> well, I lost them. Are they still there? They're, they're on the other side now. Oh, the little ridge there? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, we've just been driving along and uh, seeing if we can spot any cow elk and we got some at about a thousand yards out, so we parked uh, below a ridge where they can't see us, and we're gonna see if we can't make a stock on them. Still just standing there. Oh. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's seven. She's down. Oh yeah, she dropped right oh, in her tracks. Right in her oh. She didn't. I didn't. I didn't see the impact, but she just. Six, seven more over there. I mean, I was super steady. Oh yeah. She's <laughs> even know uh, so we're driving down the road looking for some elk we actually spotted some over here that were about a thousand yards away and uh, so we got up here crept up on them got comfortable about at about 360 340 340 yards and they started boogering out and then Anthony noticed this whole other group to the right that was just a little bit closer and I, 
it happened so fast. A hunt has never happened this fast for me. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of at a loss for words right now. Um, Anthony, but, he's going to think this is what elk hunting is like. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's not. I know it's not. But uh, anyways, we got set up on the cows over to the right. Picked one out. It was the third one uh, from the left. Uh, Anthony called her out broadside, and I lined up on her and dropped her. <laughs> uh, this is why I do what I do, man. This is it. To be oh. able to do this with this kid. Freaking awesome. I'm in shock. <laughs> <laughs> we got 370 yards to go. Let's go yeah, let's it. do it. Oh my gosh. There you go, Eddie. Look at that. <laughs> nice shooting. First cow elk, man. Jumped in her tracks. Oh my goodness. See ya. This is insane. This is this... absolutely awesome, man. This is a big animal. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wait till we get into bulls or we go into moose hunt. Yeah. No doubt. This That's... is uh, this is super exciting. <laughs> Yeah, I am, uh, so I started this company in 2004. He was five years <laughs> old and it's always been my dream for him to be able to run this company with me and for us to be out and do exactly what we're doing right now. The last two years have just been insane. They've flown A whirlwind, by. whirlwind, man. Yeah, they've flown by. We started working with our chef team. We're out here hunting cow elk and we're gonna be able to skin this thing out and have, uh, I don't know, probably 150 pounds of meat yeah. to take home with us. Yeah. And then we've got guests coming in tomorrow. Uh, they're gonna do the same thing that we're doing. They're gonna do some learning from uh, Chef Cliff. And uh, man, you and I get to live the dream, buddy. We are living the dream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is cool as hell, man. This is super crazy. Yeah. Um, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> love you, buddy. I love you. Good job. Thanks. With hunting in general, you get tons of cool experiences, but this one actually had a little extra element to it. Three seasons before, the first time that I came to this camp was with Chef Albert, and I don't remember what it was, probably I think it was like day two, I got my cow elk down literally right across the road from where Eddie got his. I mean, it was still a little ways away, but it was in the same general area. When I was with Chef Albert, I had him go through with me on how to field dress uh, an animal from a chef's perspective. And it is completely different than uh, what you see guides do or what, what we do when we go out on our own. And that's not a diss on any guides, but uh, Chef Albert is thinking about how you're keeping this meat as clean as possible. So one, you bring your um, game bags with you. The other thing, he would do half of the cow at one time lay the hide out, then when you were done with that side, roll her over, everything stays clean because you're staying on um, the hide that you just skinned. So I learned a ton from Chef Albert being able to do that. The cool part was two years into doing from field to table, I was able to pass that knowledge along to Eddie. And I know years down in the future, he's gonna pass that along to our future clients and hopefully to my grandkids. Oh yeah. That's good stuff right there. That's protein. Oh, well, back to the truck. You just got your first elk. Now what? Well, I guess now we, uh, Head back on over to the lodge and put her up in the morning. We're you supposed to say, we're going to Disneyland. No. <laughs> we're not going to Disneyland. We're going to Elk Camp. Okay. It's much cooler. So here is the cap that went on the uh, top round. Take it off, we'll use that for some grind. Get 
the hair on. So yeah, there's our top round right there. We got our bottom round here. Got some trimming to do on it from dry aging. And then right here we've got our sirloin with the tri-tip still attached to it. A little bit bigger than a white tail, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, and then we got the eye, eye brown, mm -hmm. the heel, the shank. Nice. And I think on this one we're gonna leave the uh, shank on the bone and braise it. Cool. I'm done with that. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds cool. Good job, man. I cannot believe that this is an entire elk broke down into its subprime cuts. It's way different than a whitetail and a lot more than I ever expected. Today we started with uh, some butchering, which includes getting all the quarters off, the back strap, the tenderloins, all that good stuff. But today we also broke everything down into the subprime cuts, which is what you see here. And tomorrow we get to start on some processing, making some sausages, and then also making some delicious meals out of everything you see. So one thing about being in camp, especially remote camp like this, you've got to be prepared to roll with the punches. We got punched last night, so we had a major windstorm come through, a little bit of sleet, a little bit of snow, and blew all of our power out. So we have no power, no cell service, and no water because the water runs off of the pump because we're remote. So we're gonna make the best of it, we're still gonna make it happen. We do what we do around here. We got cowboy breakfast, we got a fire. I think we're cherry. <laughs> My all-time favorite part about doing these events is with people. We meet some of the most interesting people, and there's always just that one character. This camp is hands down Chico, our cook. The dude is always happy, always has something to say, and there's not too many words he doesn't like. But he's made camp a lot of fun. Thanks, Chico. How the head? The hardest part of the body. That's right. That's how you break a knuckle. I'm uh, caramelizing some onions in, uh, what was it, brown sugar, red wine, uh, balsamic, a couple other things, but it smells delicious and we're doing this for the sticky venison. Slicing up some back strap, about half an inch thick. What back strap? Back strap for my elk. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we're about to season them up with some salt and pepper and then uh, we're going to eat some for dinner. What, what are we making? What are we going to have with it? Uh, chef hasn't told me yet. <laughs> so, what are we making with that back strap, chef? We're going to make a little garlic, ginger, sticky elk. A little rice pilaf, steamed broccoli, and cast blanes. Nice. Sounds, sounds pretty good to me. What I've been looking forward to the most is from my calf. We got the first day we got here. Wasn't even ready to hunt, but we got her done. Mm. It doesn't get any better than this. That's fantastic. So I've got my first cow elk down. This is my first elk hunt ever, but that is not the end of it. All I can think about already is the future of the hunts. I've got the bug for elk hunting now, 
and all I'm looking forward to is uh, next year and the years coming, packing in DIY into the middle of nowhere, during the middle of the rut and doing a bull elk hunt, or even another cow elk hunt. Um, it, it's endless opportunity and I'm, I'm very excited for my future of elk hunting. Thank <laughs> you.